Hello everybody, welcome back. This is a moment in time when we really need to be strong and full of joy and full of peace and full of hope. Of course, the unseen enemy, of course we can refer to that as the virus that is really decimating our infrastructure of so many so many of our normal life habits, but also the unseen enemy is the enemy of God. No sickness and disease comes from the presence of the Lord. All sickness and disease emanates from the unseen enemy of God and the enemy of the believer. I want to read you this passage of scripture from Psalm chapter 27. I'm going to read from verse 1. The New Living Translation says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? This scripture is powerful because it's really referring to who you're going to trust in. If the Lord is your light and the Lord is your salvation, who do you need to be afraid of? Why should you be afraid even of an unseen enemy that would come and try and take everything away from you and I? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why? Should I tremble? That's a good question. Why should I be afraid? Why should I tremble when the Lord is my salvation? The Lord is my light. The Lord is who I put my trust in. Not what the doctors say, not what governments say. The Lord is who I put my trust in. Yes, I am going to obey what the law of the land says I must do. Yes, I'm going to take every medical precaution and every economic precaution I can take to that is just wisdom to protect myself as much as I possibly can. But my trust is in the Lord who is my light and he's my salvation. So I shall not want to tremble. Verse 2 says the following, When evil comes to devour me or when evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they shall stumble and fall. So in this case, it's not necessarily a person, but it is, a, it is an unseen enemy that is as good as someone coming to attack my very substance of my life. I will not be afraid. I will not tremble. I trust in the Lord who is my light and my salvation. So, Come on, everybody, join me today. Join me in this moment and praise the Lord regardless of what things might look like. Give, give voice to your praise. Open your mouth and praise Him and rejoice and give glory to Him and give honor to Him because that way you will defeat the unseen enemy. I trust and I pray with you that today will be a day of blessing. Today will be a day of peace. Today, there will be no danger or trembling or being afraid by you. Today, you will experience the victory of God. Thank you for listening to me and have a glorious, blessed, Holy Spirit, prayerful, faithful day in Jesus' name.